Hello YouTube family, this is Ravi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back on the series Learn Service Now from Zero in English. So in the previous class we have seen how to create filter in Service Now, how to apply filter, how we can do the list configuration and how we can do the form configuration. If you have not seen that video, you can find the video from the i button on the top and even you can check for the description link below. So let's get started with the today's topic which is how to create user in service now and how to create a role in service now how to add rows so because user administration part is very important in service now let's take a quick example i have so let's say you want to order some product from amazon for example so what you have to do you have to go to amazon so let me type it down for you amazon.in and what you have to do is you have to click on sign in and to create your account sign up and start or you can click on sign in if you're already existing customer then only you will be able to order the product 110% I'm sure for example if I selecting this laptop and I wanted to buy let's say let's say this airport now if I try to buy here buy now it will take me to the Amazon sign in page if you see it means that I need to go back and I need to check my account and I need to sign in to my account to access their products Similarly, if you are part of ServiceNow, if you are part of ServiceNow, your account should be present on this instance called F159118 for sure. You should be part of ServiceNow. So, how ServiceNow users are stored? Where ServiceNow users are stored? Let's say we are admin team. Where our accounts are? So, always remember in ServiceNow, everything is stable as I mentioned in the last session. So we have a table of user. You just have to type here users. Once you type users, under system security, you will find user and group, user, group, role. You can make these three favorite so that it will come and sit over here. See? So from the next time you have to come here and click here, then you will open the page. Perfect. Correct? So this is my user table. Where I will see, you can see I have 623 users in my service now system. You have to create the users right away. If you wanted to give access to any third party or a third party application or you want to share the credential details for vendors or let's say you are creating an account for your internal employee, you should be creating the user over here. So let's create one demo user. Click on new. And one thing you have to notice guys, let's go back. This is called list view, correct? And if I click on new, it will take me to the form view. But what you have to notice, the table name. You can notice here the table name is sys user, system user. This is a label and this is a table name. Remember this concept. Let's go inside it. Okay, click on new. This is the form view. And let's create a user. Let's say uh, Ravi dot service now. Okay, my first name is Ravi, last name Gaurav title mister okay so you can you can notice over here we have a small box these kind of a boxes are called single line text i am repeating these kind of a boxes are called single line text or a string box where you can write a character whether you can write a value number data whatever you want to write you can write inside this box and if you notice this box has a magnifying glass this box is called reference box. So I will write it down for you. So let me show you. Single line text slash string box. So which is a string box? This where you can write the information, write the number, write the string value. But if you see this kind of a box with a magnifying glass, this kind of a box is called reference box. Okay. What is the meaning of reference? The very important point. Reference means if I click here, it is taking me to some other table. That is your department table. De department label and table name is in SQL department. Obviously, it's a department table. What does it indicate? It means that we are on user table, but we are going to the department table. So we are referring to the department table. That's why it's called a reference. And we will see how to create this kind of a reference variable or column in service now. Basically, if I select here, the data will be selected. What are all these? These are columns, guys. Why? Because if I again open the table in the list view, 
these are columns only user id name email these are columns guys and these are also called columns same thing user id name these are called data the value so if i right click and save it the value will be saved in the database so in service now what is the database table because we have everything in the form of table there is no external database yes you can connect the external database through mysql or my db server well and good but service now has given you that opportunity to have millions of data stored in your table so i will create one table in front of you very soon then you will understand okay we can create our own table like a restaurant table where we can manipulate the dishes and we can get it extracted for the users yes guys you can do it i'll show you going forward so then now put the email so just i am putting in the email ravi at the rate gmail dot com okay my language is english now you will see single line text reference box this kind of a box are called check box i am writing it down for you guys so that you can have a note check box so sorry select box or choice box why choice because if i click here i will get the choice correct so if i click here english choice time zone i am i am getting the time zone so these are called choice box and this is called check box where you can check something true false false true so these are called check boxes and we have lot many types which we will see going forward just i am creating a user so just i created the user i can add a photo of my or you can add your own photo let me save it so guys you can comment me in the section you want me to be on video <coughs> sorry to be on the video while explaining you or you want in this format let me know in the comment section i can come on the video to explain you everything so that's see you can see my account is created so user is created once the user is created you need to set up the password that is the important point set password on the top so once you create a user obviously everyone has to set the password without password how he will log in so service now has given is this option called set password and click on this it will generate some random password every time so these are very big okay this is small you can see i'll copy this password oh sorry let's go back generate again generate again and then copy the password from here and paste it over here okay now save this once you save the password you will notice this check box is automatically checked password need to reset what does this mean it means that this user once he log in to service now he will get a page where he need to reset the password so it's like when you have log in to amazon or someone you will get receive an otp and sometime receive a temporary password for some other website once you put the temporary password you will be able to re enter your old password that is called your password need to reset that's all let me save this and let me go to this user in this case what i will do i will just uh, copy this for example the url and i will go to incognito and open this let it open and here it will ask me for the credential username and the password and i will use the same password you will notice the very good thing that you might have seen uh, in your it as service now non service now career also you will get a form where you will be getting how to reset the password so if you try to open this incognito it will be slow sometime incognito are slow so let's wait until we'll go back we'll see this is the user and the password is this one which i have copied let's go back still this is taking time to load the page yeah it's come up learn service now at the retrovi devils test guys uh, you can provide me the comments in the description in the comment section and in the description i will be putting you all the details what we are studying and what we are going to study in the future so you can see pretty much this screen is pretty much slow we refresh it again okay scan i guess so let me open this again yeah it is opening here let me open this again okay it's not opening here so what i will do is i will log out from here and i will use this so guys what you have to do is 
just come here and log out once you log out you will get the page yeah username i'll put the username which is ravi dot service now and the password is the password which we have saved it copy and paste it correct now if i log in you will see a page where you have to change the password okay this is the password let me change the password so yep submit there you go and you are now into the service now instance and on his page he is getting an information box like to upgrade to the next experience ui on the day one session when we talk about it next experience ui which was introduced in the year 2022 march so that was with the release called san diego which we have discussed already and the property was polarish so it's asking you whether you want to uh go back to the previous ui no i don't want yeah you can see the name ravi god we have these options and we have all those applications which i can access for example i'm trying to access incident now you can see i can see only two modules if i click on incident see there's no record to display because this user doesn't have a role so in service now without rule you are nothing for example if you are using Amazon, Amazon has given you end user rule. End user rule means you can only see his website. You can order the product, but you don't know how this data is going to their database. We we don't know. Similarly, because we don't have that rule, end user we don't have the primary user rule. No, we have only the end user rule. This person is not having a rule at all. So once we discuss about the rule, you will understand how rule play a very important role in service now. Okay. So in this case, let me just log out. And you can go back to the previous part. Now, I don't know what is my password. So in this case, what I will do. So guys, this is very common thing. You can go to developer.servicenow.com. And from there, you can go and check your password by clicking on the just sign in and clicking on this option. Once you click, you have this option called manage instance password. From here, you will receive the password. But you can use this start building option. Directly, it will take you to the page. So you don't have to reset the password again. Okay. Now, let me close this. Or let me pull it out. No problem. Okay. Now, if you notice, I have not given this user with any role. Now, I will be providing this user with a role so that he can access few things in service now. And that role, let me provide it. Click on edit. And just type here. incident let's let me give him my incident manager role so you will notice he will have lot of rules added you can see i have added only one rule but under his profile there are 36 rules added why so so there's a concept here guys always remember the most asked interview question i have added only one rule but why 36 rules are added the question the answer lie in front of your eyes because of the concept called inheritance i know if you don't do inheritance you can go back and check uh, out of the box or you can say that uh, oops concept where uh, we have uh, inheritance concept written or even i can make one video on the inheritance and i can put it on my uh, youtube channel you can check from there also so inheritance means you will inherit you will uh, get the property from your parent to the child so it means that I have added only incident manager rule. Where it is? Incident manager rule. Just search it. Yeah. Incident manager rule. So I have added only this rule. But other rules are getting inherited. It means that this rule is a parent rule and other rule is a child rule. Got this? Because if I am having my parent, obviously I will have some property of my parent. Some trade of my parent. That is called a parent child concept. That's why everywhere you will notice it is true, inherited true, and only for this part it is false. It means that it is a parent itself. It is a alone. So now I have given him this rule called incident manager rule. Now let me go back to his profile. Okay. And the password. I hope it's the password. Once I log into his profile, 
you will notice okay correct close this you will notice now if i type incident see he can see everything now early he was having only these two but now he can see this if i click on all he can access all the record if you see all the record he can access rule play a very important part in service now if you i have not having any rule i cannot do anything do we have table for rules yes guys we have tables for rules around 4000 let me check 423 not 4000 423 so you can see all the rules are available over here which you can have a look but remember my words don't create a rule in service now by yourself take the permission of the platform owners take the permission of your technical architect before creating the rule because every rule is license based you cannot create a rule for example my company is giving 100 dollars to service now and service now is saying like in those 100 dollars you just create 10 rules you are not allowed to create 11 rule so you will create only 10 rule or you will use only 10 rule but the 11th rule when you will create then it will be chargeable so you can utilize whatever the rule given by service now for free and i am 110 percent sure all rules are already there so don't worry about it we have admin rule we have activity admin rule we have super admin rule we have security admin rule so all those rules wherever is needed i will discuss about it so that's all for today we have created the user and we have added a rule to the user in the next class we will see how to create a group what is the concept of delegation and what is the concept of subscription so if you are very new to this channel do share and subscribe and we'll meet you in the next video